Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Today is going to be a little bit different Vlogmas um, because I'm in my kitchen and we're going to do some baking. So I am going to show you guys how to make kokos macaruna or um, coconut tops or coconut cakes. Yeah. Um, they are very very good so yeah so I have made everything ready um, what I have here is I have six egg whites I have 300 grams of sugar and 300 grams of shredded coconut um, and you also need one tablespoon um, of uh, potato flour. I'm going to open this one up. Didn't do that. It's being difficult with me. Hang on. Scissor is needed. So, just going to open this up. that I hope yes it's so burn picking up a tablespoon and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your casserole hang on Just have to wipe it off like that, and you are basically just going to mix all these things into the casserole. So putting everything in here. This is a very simple recipe moving my scale away and then adding one tablespoon of potato flour I do use a little bit of top of my tablespoon with flour now we are going to I'm going to use this um, put the stove on this one and just I'm just gonna mix it a little bit this is going to be a little bit difficult to begin with until the sugar starts melting so yeah because you want to mix this until you have like a gooey consistency to it all and that's when it's done boiling and that's when you're going to start putting them on the fry I'm putting down wax paper on my tray. If you struggle to get your wax paper to stay on the tray, just put a little bit of water on the tray and it will stay better. And with this, it's quite important to keep stirring it once it starts to get hot. If not, you're going to get caramel, burnt caramel. Because, yeah, sugar is a difficult thing to work with if you don't, if you're not careful. So now I'm just going to turn my heat down to five on my stove because I would rather have low heat spend more time than to get burnt coconut cakes so yeah and you can see in mine 
sugar has started to melt, so it's starting to like become this gooey mass. But this gooey mass is going to have, it, it's supposed to look a little bit more shiny so that you can see that sugar has melted properly and yeah, a little bit more see through. Don't know what you call that. But yeah, it's not going to be opaque. <laughs> it's the only thing I could think of. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, you're just going to mix it and mix it and mix it. This mass here, when you if you do this at home, you'll see that when it's like this, this mass is actually quite hard. It's not like um, gooey, or you will see that it gets more gooey as it goes a little bit. So yeah. and my poor hands this kind of looks like porridge, rice porridge yeah. and tomorrow I think we're gonna bake gingerbread so I actually think I'm going to have to make the dough tonight before bed so it can stay in the fridge. Yeah. But we'll see. hooked up to the power so hopefully I'll get to film without charging it but I'm not sure and here comes Miss Loud Papa. Wait to Papa. Yeah, we're going to Papa. I'm going to Papa. The very can you go into Papa? Come on, Papa. Come, Papa. And now this mass is starting to become a little bit more liquidy. So, next step is getting it to become more gooey again. I'm oh, sorry. I just gotta shake my hand. Nam papa nam nam. Nam papa nam nam. Sit there for nam nam. Sit there. Sit there nam papa. Nam nam. Tira mo como hento.
So my mass has now started to go up again and you can really feel the difference in the mass because it gets like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, it's quite hard to explain, but it's going to be sticky, that's the word I'm looking for, sticky. So the whole mass will change during the process. Um, it will change more than once. So just keep going until you feel you have the right result. I, I unfortunately don't have like the time, set time, because it all depends on your stove and how you do it and yeah. all the nice things that matter. So you can see mine is starting to gather into like lumps, so that means it's starting to become gooey and sticky. And it's starting to get like a yellowish colour as well as um, you can basically see that it is different. Now. burnt sugar so my mass is now done and it's sticky and kind of yellowish on color so I'm now going to put it on the tray so now that your mass is sticky and actually quite shiny um, you're going to start making the cake so you need your tray with some wax paper on it I use two spoons and I just take a little bit in one spoon about a little bit over half and you just place it down on your plate like this and just gather it together like that and you just do these this these should not flare out so you can put them close together. I'm not going to put them that close together just because. I'm just placing them like this onto my plate. And this is actually quite sticky. So it's going to stick to your spoons, it's going to stick to everything. them together in the spoon because it was easier. And these 
is I put in the middle of the oven at 180 Celsius for about 12 minutes and they should have like a golden color to them. So that is what I'm doing tonight and I shall put the finished result on pictures on my blog so you can see it there. So yeah. one second. Oops. Oops, that was my book of recipes. But yeah, pictures of the finished product on my blog so love you guys so much. Bye! See you soon! Oh, and a little bit more. If you do decide to make this, find me and tell me and show me. Yeah. So, again, bye. See you soon.